Hey everybody, let's talk comics, but you know what we're talking about today? Jesus Christ, we're going to open every episode with it. I'm so sick of it. Ugh. You created the webpage. You no, created the I, web created, you... I created the group. You created the monster. The discussion. No, you created the damn monster, and I'm like, God, can we please get away from this? Like, I think it's great as a discussion group, but it's obnoxious. I, I, I'm so glad your other hashtag hasn't caught on. Don't say it. No, don't, don't do it. No. Don't. I got fussed at for slut shaming. Did you really? Yeah. Who fussed you? Don't worry about it. Wow. Okay. You're not supposed to sl shame sluts. And, I, and to be fair, I like sluts. What? Including you. What? Well, thanks. That means so much to me. My wife didn't shame me, did she? Hmm. Okay. Because okay. I'm pretty sure she wouldn't. That's not her thing. One of my friends who listens to the show says, it's funny. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Garen the comic book slut it's funny is making, funny. It's funny you're making fun of Garen. That's, no, what, it's, that's what's funny. The fact that I chose that to make fun of you, but... But you shouldn't, you shouldn't slut shame. Can you whore shame? No. Same thing? No. Okay, not the same thing? Sluts put out, whores put out for money. Okay, so it's a putting out thing. That's what you're shaming. And I don't put out for people putting out. I am not shaming anybody for being um, negotiable with their love. <laughs> negotiable with their love. So I, That's the hashtag. Negotiable I, with your love. <laughs> that, I, I also like reasonably priced affection. Reasonably so, priced affection. I like that one too. I, I discount though. Seems dirty. R, you could just short an RPA. Reasonably priced affection. You got some RPA for me? <laughs> and just for the record, it is of my opinion that you always pay for affection, whether it's in time or money. Well, time is not that bad, though. You know, I can always make more money. I can't make more time. That's true. You waste my time, it's a problem. But, uh, but is it wasting time? I, I, this is my argument for prostitution. Just for the record, it's a more practical thing. <sighs> the libertarian in me says, just legalize it. Same thing with marijuana, just legalize it. Just saying. It's the libertarian in me says that. I'm sorry you have someone in you. Uh... Do I do I need to get That's what this is, do right? I need to leave you alone for a minute Chunk so right he here. can exit? I mean, all right. So you swallowed a libertarian? So at some point, I'm sure. I, I eat a lot of food. I eat a, <laughs> oh my god! I, I eat a lot of food. Oh. Sometimes, oh. sometimes you forget what's there. Oh. You're like you're absentmindedly. Did he something. fit through the glory hole? I, what? Um. Uh, come on. <laughs> Oh, uncalled for. So wow, the the intro to this is just pornographic. Wow. I am within two, so within sorry. Within two minutes, you said the word glory hole. Two minutes. You talked about the libertarian <laughs> inside of you. Well, everybody's got a wolf inside of them and another wolf. I wonder what and, would happen if a libertarian got inside Rush Limbaugh. Um, okay. God the help claws us. Way, claws way out. All right. I so. don't want to be saying these things, but they keep coming out. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> okay. You got it out now, you good? Yeah, I don't oh, that's what oh, she I'm, said. I'm good. That's yeah. what she said officially. Oh, well, nope, nope. It's a Michael Scott groaner. No, Screw this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue. I'm so button. sorry, YouTube. <laughs> uh, let's, let's record this show. They better let's, never let's, let you on TV. Let's move it on. No, uh, no, that's a bad idea, isn't it? It is a bad, bad idea. idea. Hi, guys. I'm David. <laughs> I'm Gary. And we are the Pretty Panel Podcast. And go ahead and do it. It's a bad idea? No. Oh. Your friggin' hashtag. Hashtag. I'm not saying it. Are we still doing that thing? You do it at the Didn't opening of every YouTube Facebook video. Facebook page. What was that Facebook page called? What was it called? <laughs> oh, so, I don't do it. Okay. This week, <laughs> this week is going to be a really good week. We are talking about comics that drop on, on July, July the eighth. Yes. Um, and uh, and we're going to start with with DC, or at least I am. Maybe you have some. Oh, you have read it. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Let's let's back up here. A blaze has Sumerian red nails number two. It was the first one so, was good. So if they have what I am ref affectionately referring to as the Boobylicious cover, if you get a Boobylicious cover, I would like I'm, one. I'm sure and I'm when sure. you see the cover art, you'll know exactly which one I want. Oh, that's the it one. It almost want. looks like a Merc Andolfo cover, um, but I th I think that's one of the priestesses of Set, and I do like the art. Uh, but for the story, I'm I'm done with the Sumerian stuff. Okay. All right. I don't um, need pornographic Conan. Okay, so we've got Aftershock, Join the Future, number three. And AWA, of course, says Archangel 8, number three. Yeah. So I know you kind of dropped that one, right? You weren't all that interested. So I, I will say that I think it's a cool concept. Yeah. I, I, it just isn't for me. Sure, okay. 
Uh, and a boom has something stealing the children number eight. Really enjoyed this run. Um, I think you should try the first graphic novel. I think you really would enjoy it. It's actually well, pretty you good. know I read the first issue. Yeah, you shouldn't continue. Uh, it just didn't grab me. And I love Tynan, but anyway. So now we can continue with DC because DC's got some phenomenal stuff this week. And I may actually have more DC than you. I think you do, because you do a couple different things that I don't. Yeah. I don't do Flash. So we both have Batman 94. Absolutely. You have... Batman Adventures Continue number two. Oh, I didn't I didn't get that one on the list. Ooh, I don't okay. know where you pulled that one from. Uh, from DC. From their website? Yeah, not from website. Uh, from uh, comics, the comics price. It's a comics list. Uh, yeah. Well, it wasn't on their website. Really? Yeah. Ooh, it's so, it should be out this week. Should or be. not, and I'm going to go with not. But if it's out, I do want it. Um, Batman's Grave Number Eight. Yeah, I knew you had a Warren Ellis book. Yeah. Uh, Deceased Dead Planet Number One. Fantastic. Uh, Justice League Four. Or excuse me, I missed one. Detective Comics Ten Twenty Three. Right. Justice League Forty Eight. Yep. Um, I've got the Flash Seven Fifty Seven. Yep. Uh, and then I'm actually going to pick up the Flash Forward trade paperback when it comes out. Um, now I don't know if this is a hardcover or if this is the actual soft cover. Paperback. Yeah. I don't think um, they did a hardcover. I think it's like seventeen bucks. Yeah. Um, so. I have decided that even for books that I have read, um, the collected editions of for event books mm -hmm. and important moments through the universe, I'm going to pick up the trade mm -hmm. so that when we go you to review read something, yeah. Yeah. I can reread it without damaging my original copies. Mm -hmm. um, That's great. So idea. I'm excited about that. That's a really great idea. So uh, for me, I have all that except yeah. for Flash, not a Flash thing, and I'm kind of substituting that for Young Justice number 16. Yeah. Uh, very excited about Young Justice. It's been a great run. And by the way, we do books in the budget. We do this. We, we did it for a long time. Of course, we stopped because there were no books. But <laughs> we actually did. This week, we did a books in the budget. It's on our YouTube page. We've decided to move that specifically to YouTube. And the reason that we've decided to use do that specifically to YouTube is to give you guys a reason to hop off the podcast and go check out our YouTube channel. Just search the it's only, it's podcast. Less, it's less than 10 minutes. It's actually a lot of fun. It was about 15. It was it 15, really? Yeah, we, we, we chattered. Wow. It, it, and also, guys, if you're just listening to this on the podcast, you can catch about three minutes of us being massively inappropriate before the show just by watching this on YouTube. Now, we don't want to kill our podcast numbers. We do want you to listen to us on the podcast as well. But I, I definitely enjoy the, the YouTube comments. Definitely the inappropriateness is fun. Okay, so... Oh, it's why I won't get hired for my next job. I guarantee it. <laughs> They're going to go... <clears throat> this guy? Mr. No. Cantrell, excuse me, sir. I, we saw your YouTube channel. So... Were you really talking about blank? Insert whatever insert, we said this insert week. Insert the inappropriate thing you said. Well, to be fair, it was an act with my friend Garen, but, you know, that's... We're not hiring him either. No. And he is also banned. Please leave yeah. the property immediately. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, it'll be weird. Why'd you bring me in? Oh, we wanted to embarrass you. Please get off my property. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, You're uh, a horrible human. Anything, <laughs> anything from IDW? No. Uh, only thing I have from Image that we didn't get this week, which got shorted on, was uh, On the Stump number three. I'll be, I'll be reading that because I didn't get one. So uh, it'll be nice to have one eventually. So Adventure Man, Matt, Matt Fractions, Adventure Man number two. Um, and that's really the oh, only... Oh, other, other in, uh, in, uh, in, in which book, sorry. It was right there. Just yeah. Missed it. You missed it. Missed it. It's okay. Because of the A's. Um, and then I'm going to be picking up Philadelphia Volume 1 in trade. Uh, you've actually talked about it enough on the show. I'm as uh, susceptible to suggestive... Uh, selling as you anybody are. else, yes. I've never been. And so, what, what, what we hope you guys do finding books that you love kind of happened to me. I suspect I'm really going to enjoy Philadelphia, um, and it's I'm willing to, to spend nine ninety nine. The, the only thing to that find I, out. The only thing I, the art the art is, is is okay. That's my that's my only hang up. Is the art is just okay, but the story is amazing. There's no artist somewhere like it's okay. And I apologize if that seems or sub, seems judgmental. It's not meant to be. There are certain art styles I really enjoy, but there's some that I just go, okay. Just looks like abstract art sometimes. It's, I don't know. So just I'm just not. It's not as bad as decorum. Decorum, right? Oh, decorum is just weird. So right. moving on to Marvel, I am super excited about this week because there's so many things coming back. Uh, Finally, Doctor Strange. Number five. Number five. Very exciting. Surgeon Supreme. Yeah, Surgeon Supreme. Surgeon Supreme. Uh, Empire Fantastic Four number zero. Very excited about this because it's we had Avengers now we gotta get Fantastic Four because essentially it's gonna be that's gonna be the two big tie-in on Earth versus the Kree and the Scroll. Yeah. Uh, Ghost Rider's back number at seven. number seven. Yes. Uh, and then you're super excited about the Strange return Academy. of Strange Academy number two. I mean, two. legitimately, this is this is gonna be pretty. Honestly, I love Scotty Young, but 
the art is good, but the story is great. I, I want to see what happens with this group because we, it was speculated it wasn't going to come back at all. That was the big speculation because, I mean, on all the Marvel stuff, it's like, the, Marvel was going to cut well, they were gonna 40%. Re- yeah, they were going to they were gonna cut 40% of their books. They were going to release a whole bunch of stuff digitally. Yeah. Like, Avengers of the Wasteland hasn't returned yet. And it's so, going to go digital only. And it may go digital only for the last two issues. Well, or been, we, we may see it somewhere down the road. Well, we've been told it'll go digital only, and we will get paper copies this year at some point there'll be like a, a group of they'll go boom 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 in one week and they'll release all the paper copies that they are done digitally and I'm totally fine with that yeah I mean it makes sense um, but I really wish they would do it all at the same time and not but anyway so X-Force number 10 Yo, yeah yeah uh, Jerry Dugan yes let's X-Force, go Jerry every X-Force Jerry is so Dugan. good so well done now the the really big X Men book though is God Loves Man Kills. I know you have a copy. Uh, so for my birthday, you bought me a copy. I, I haven't read it. It's this very nice it is magazine a, prestige it's format. It's the original graphic novel style. And if Chris Claremont is ever within spinning distance of me, I will walk up to him and go, "Will you please sign this?" Now yours is a first printing because yeah. I, I've somehow tracked down a first printing, and yours is um, the. It's how you got a libertarian inside of you? Exactly. So. <laughs> I delayed that all that time. You've been holding that back, haven't you? Oh, I have. You've been waiting for the right moment? There was the right kick in. So, but anyway, what they're doing is they're re-releasing this in, I think, three or four issues. Is it two Two. issues? Two issues. It it is called the Extended Cut. Right. So I'm only going to say Chris Claremont came back to kind of give more information and some scripting information. So um, I'm actually very excited about that one as well because it's it's God Love, Man, Kills. So, yeah, yeah, and it's a fantastic storyline that they've, they've toyed around with the idea of doing this book. In a, in a movie uh, oh, several wow. times the, the problem is though it's right now is the right political climate but it wasn't say 10 15 years ago so now's the time because it's all it's all literally all about humans wanting to kill mutants and it's yeah it's rough but uh, awesome uh, but that's it for marvel for me anything else i've got vault Money shot number six. All money shot number six. Now, I will say on the podcast, if you go and you watch our episode on YouTube of Books on a Budget, um, I'm gonna talk about money shot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ask all of our listeners to adopt adopt a new person who does not read comics and find a comic for them that they love. Um, money shot is one of four or five books that I do that with where I actually send it to a friend of mine. And she absolutely loves every issue. I know her well enough to know her sensibilities and know that that book fits. And we we kind of bond over it. It's a fun thing for us. It's something we share. And at the same time, it's it's basically creating a comic book fan who hopefully in her hometown will find a comic book shop and subscribe to other things. Um, so if you're a big fan and you have the budget to do so, take a, take a book to a friend who doesn't read comics and say, hey, you know, I thought you might like this. Like if you'll read it, we'll talk about it, um, and and spread spread comic book love that way. Spread the joy. If you loved Huck, which we have, how many versions of Huck have you given away? Oh, the trade uh, seven at this point. Uh, Ready Player One. How many books have you given away? Twenty four. Twenty four. Literally twenty four copies of Ready Player One. He's given away to friends and acquaintances because. It's one of the first one. things I said to you, have you read Ready Player One? And like pulled a copy gently out. Literally, of the... he's and, and Heather and I are both like, hell yes, we read that because it's amazing. Uh, Heather, he went back and read Armada and liked it better. Uh, really? Yeah. That's blasphemy. I mean, Ar- Armada's good, but Armada, it's she liked, so She liked Armada better. Of course, I haven't read Armada. I literally haven't had the opportunity because I'm doing so many other things. But um, so but the, let's let's make this a, a let's make this a thing. Adopt a subscriber. Adopt a, a guy. Adopt a friend into reading comic books. So here's the challenge for you: in either one of two places, either on on this post on YouTube or in our Facebook group, Let's Talk Comics. I'm going to challenge you to comment or leave a post that says what book you're giving away to adopt a new comic book fan. Yeah, because there's so many choices. I mean, some people love Fable. I've given Maybe away we ought to call it hashtag spread the love. Spread the love. I feel like that's been done before. Well, that's great. I mean, we could call it spread the comics. I don't, the comic I don't want to call it spread the joy because there's lots of chicks named Joy and that just sounds wrong. So spread the comic love. How's that? Makes sense. I mean, that sounds like a dude with a small wing. It does. It does. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it comic book love? Should we do that? Or is I it don't too complex? know. I, why? <laughs> I don't. Spread the love. We'll get back do. to you on that. If you have a good hashtag for us, 
please, ben, please, come up with a good hashtag us. for us. It's not in any way, in any way, form. Uh, and I, I also wanted those amazing T-shirts, man. That that was awesome. Yeah, I'm sorry, like, Ben, but you're gonna have yeah. to you're gonna have to cough up those T-shirts. Uh, well, I'll I mean, just them. tell us, we'll pay for them. Yeah, I mean, because I, I want don't one. buy them for us. No, no, I, I, I would like to own one of the shirts that says hashtag yeah, <sighs> Let's Talk Comics. I hate to admit it, but I do too. <laughs> Actually, what I want, I'll be honest, what I think would be really great is I want a jersey style cut. Yeah. And I want the hashtag on my shoulders. I want like, I want like. Uh, you have to have it all the way across yeah. your back. Yeah. But, but like right here. Yeah. Well, like, and, and then, and then so, like our faces on a logo and on the jersey. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Well, you could do with a jersey. You have the thing down there. You could do like our faces on each peck, you know. Yeah. Like, on our memories. <laughs> our memories. <laughs> so. <laughs> Now we made it inappropriate again. It's not inappropriate to say memories. Thanks for the memories. All right, so so again, I think of I think of Ben riding in the car with his children. It's not it is not inappropriate to have to explain memories to your pecs. children. Like, for men, it's pecs. They call them pecs. pecs for girls. most men around here, it's memories. I, and I say oh. that as an example. So okay. So uh, I mean, it might be worse to say moves. So uh, moves said it would be much worse. So why are you crossed your arms, fella? <laughs> <laughs> Fellow comic book lovers, um, tell us what you think. Give us your opinion. Uh, talk to us on Twitter. Talk to us on Facebook. Talk to us on Let's Talk Comics because honestly, apparently that's doing better Somebody than our actual Facebook God page. Somebody, please, God, censor us. <laughs> uh, but no, seriously, it's fun. We we want to talk about comics, and uh, honestly, I've I can't count the number of Fable. The first graphic novel of Fable I've given away to people. At least five. I'd hand it back to you. I, I love Fable. I, You're like, here, read this. No. Uh, some people, know, I've heard, not having anybody didn't like it, except for you, apparently. It just isn't my jam. Because you're weird. I've seen that TV show. It's called Once Upon a Time. Oh, stop. That's just wrong. All right, oh. guys. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for talking comments with us. We really do appreciate it. Love you guys. Okay, love you. Bye. People's awesome. So today, let's see. Once upon a time, let's take garbage, let's, hot let's, garbage. Let's take inventory. I've remotely sexually harassed Natalie Portman unintentionally because I have great respect for wait, Natalie wait. Portman. Unintent. Okay. I didn't intend to say anything naughty. Um, we've talked about moves. Moves. We're talking about moves. And you have a libertarian inside of you. A little bit. Just a little libertarian. Just the tip. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.